Okay. Well, it is no secret in Calhoun County, Leo Welch has really made a name for himself. Of course, Leo has been host of Black Gospel here on TV7 for some 27 to 30 years. And today, a film crew from Austria is visiting to do a documentary on Leo, and we kind of want to get the history of how Leo came to their attention. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves because I am not fluent in anything but English, and they speak German, but they also speak English. So I'm going to ask for their names, starting with you. Hello, I'm Gerald. You're Gerald. I'm Stefan. Stefan. I'm Wolfgang. Wolfgang. Yeah. And I'm Victor. And I'm going to remember all that. Okay, we're going to start with the person who actually had the idea of doing this, and how did you hear about Leo? How did he come to your attention? Actually, it was Wolfgang. Yeah, right. Um, I am uh, artistic director of a music festival in Austria, and this festival every year has like a topic, and in this year the topic was uh, old is the new new, and so we were looking for for really old artists who are still, you know, still good, who are still kicking. And uh, my first idea was to invite Sadell Davis, uh, who is another very old blues musician, because I saw him in, in Vienna some some time ago. So I invited, uh, so I contacted Fat Possum, his record label, to ask if he's available. And, and they said, no, he isn't. But there is that other guy, uh, Leo Welch, and, and I had no idea about him. I just... Uh, so I listened to, to a, 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 I watched a video of him and it pretty much blew me away and it was very clear from, from, from the very first minute that I saw that I want this guy on my festival. And so we did it and, and so he came over, it was his very first trip to Europe and it was quite something, it was really special. Uh, uh, all, um, our whole audience was totally blown away by his show. He did two shows on the very first day and um, uh, one of these shows was until 1.30 in the morning, which was totally incredible for me. And so, so that was that and, and after the festival I read some articles about him and I learned his whole story. I didn't really know about, about all these things, how he had lived a quiet life until, until very recently and, and just started out now as, uh, you know, um, uh, with his career. And so the more I read, the more, the more I realized this should be a movie. And, and so I started you know, thinking about it. I, I contacted his manager, Vancey Varnado, about it. And, and he saw, thought, OK, that's a good idea. Let's do it. And so I started to contact people in Austria who I knew uh, are into filmmaking because I'm not a filmmaker. But luckily, Stefan is a filmmaker. And so I contacted him and said, OK, hey, here is this idea. Let's do something with it. And, and, and then um, uh, we started doing it together. And Stefan, uh, yeah, I'll give the word to you. Yes, Stefan, because I'm sure, and I don't know about Austria, but had you ever heard of the state of Mississippi before? Uh, a little bit. Of course, we know uh, Memphis and just going down there and, and we heard a lot of the, 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 land, the landscape and of course Mississippi and that it's a very nice country and we really enjoyed it. Well that's great. You came here to do a documentary regarding Lee. Right. Now I understand that it's all originated from a film festival or, or music and I'm sure the blues, I don't know how popular it is in Austria like it is here in the deep south of the United States. But it had to be, was it something you really enjoyed doing? Yeah, I mean, we are, we are basically very uh, interested in the, in the character, actually, of, of Leo. Yeah. Because, and his story, and it's very, it's very in inspiring. Um, and when we, when, we, when we told the story in Austria, they said, wow, really, that guy with 80, wow, that's great. And now, wow, and now he, he drives around and plays the blues. And, and, and our problem was that we don't have any money. And so we started with a uh, Kickstarter in the internet to, 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 to raise money. And actually, then, then Wolfgang uh, was behind that and the, the, the driven force. Yeah, we were doing a crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter for, for it was in September. So it, it was all, you know, very short term because we thought, okay, I mean, Leo is very fit, but still, 
let's not lose any time on this. So we thought, I mean, the, the festival that I was talking about was in May. The idea of, of making a movie came at, I think, in June. Then we started the Facebook page in July and had like 600 fans instantly. Now we're at something like 850 or something like that. And the Kickstarter campaign started, uh, I, I think, September 2, and now we're here. So this was all really very short term because we thought, okay, we can't wait for any grant to come through. We have to do this right now. What has been the most interesting thing as a filmmaker, Gerald, for you to come to Mississippi and to uh, see where Leo grew up and where he has his roots? Yeah, you, you just said it. Um, before we came here, I was um, uh, researching him, and it was a real, a real interesting story. And uh, in the Mississippi Delta, you know, uh, I, I'm a bit fond of blues, and uh, I was really interested to see where it came from and how does it, how the the people are and the the whole community of blues. And it was a, a very interesting experience for me. The Delta has produced a lot of name. It's, it's the birth of the blues for uh, this for the uh, gender gender of blues is is the Delta and BB King a lot of the famous blues people came from there. Uh, Victor, what has been most surprising to you? Most surprising, um, the people we met on the way and uh, and seeing Leo perform that was the most amazing. The first time I saw him on stage, it was really was really great. Um, I always like like the blues, and when S Stefan asked me to be part of this project, yeah, I I jumped on, and I always wanted to go to Mississippi once anyway, <laughs> and yeah, I'm uh, yeah. So that was the people and and Leo, uh, the performance of Leo, that was really amazing. Is this the first time any of you have been to America? For me, it is the first time. First time. For me, no, I have been to San Francisco, um, I think Atlanta. Orlando, New York, so, but it was about 14 with my parents. Mm -hmm. I've been to New York a couple of times, but never came any further. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's uh, the fifth time, actually, but not in the South. I was traveling across America three times, but not in the South, so it's the first time in the South for me. Well, it's good to have you all here. When will the documentary, now tell us a little bit about what you are capturing. I know you're capturing the life and times <laughs> of Leo Welch. But when will the documentary be completed, and, and what will you want people to take away from this documentary? Um, so the first thing is we, we just following actually Leo, and we try to, to, to capture his life. And it, it was really hard for us last week because he plays a lot of concerts, and then he plays, uh, he, he drives uh, six hours, he wakes up at five, then he then he <laughs> then he goes I don't know to Bigly Wiggly, <laughs> and then he he goes to the next concert three hours drive and we, and we were in, in everywhere actually now, and and I don't know what if you want to how yeah, do you see that it really <laughs> killed us I mean his energy <laughs> and his schedule was really killing us it was it was so hard last week when he played in Clarksdale he played the next day in Aberdeen then he played in New Orleans then he played. Uh, uh, at his church and then he played on the same day at the Foxfire Ranch and we were always driving past them and it was really it was and he's so 82 hard. and, yeah. and we are yeah. really <laughs> and we were yeah. way more tired than he was so, <laughs> I mean the energy he has is incredible today we got up at 4:45 in the morning to to capture him you know you know I'm, I'm getting up and getting and getting his breakfast and we are all I, I can tell you we are all very tired right now but look at him I mean he's he's totally fit he's he doesn't He's look just tired ready at to all. Go, isn't yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> He's always ready to go. It's really amazing, the energy that guy has. Really amazing. What do you want people to take away from the documentary? Um, we would like to to see. Um, uh, well, one thing uh, uh, we would like to to capture is why is Leo's story so interesting? Um, uh, uh, we want to 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 see uh, or to make people see why uh, his blues music or his music has so much power um, be, um, because I think um, um, the reason for this is that that he is really one of those people who come out of this cultural and social setting where um, the blues actually comes from 
and 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 we are trying to to show this setting and to show this setting in in the modern world so in the world where we live in now uh, and how this all comes very easily together for Leo so uh, yeah that's about it does it give you a greater appreciation of Leo and the blues and where he came from oh yeah <laughs> Well, it's good to have you all here at TV7 today to talk with us. Uh, you did a great job here. Uh, I think it's um, kind of put Leo on the map in Bruce, Mississippi, with things we took for granted, knowing he was a blues player. I've known that, but I uh, didn't realize how great a blues player he really is. He can be up there with the best of them. Thank you again. We look forward to the documentary. When will it be out? We'll think maybe in, in, in one year. We hope earlier, but I don't know. We had a lot. We have now a lot of footage, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see. Yeah. Now, when will you leave to go back to Austria? Uh, we're going back on Sunday, so just in two days. So we are we are like uh, we've been here uh, from from Monday last week, and so it's now we're about to 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 wrap it up. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, thanks for coming. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you.